I've lived with chronic pain since 1976, when I injured my spine in a lifting accident. And then I had a car accident about five years later, and I've had three major surgeries over that period. The pain's been constant and pretty severe most of that time. Through my life journey of learning to live as well as I can, I've done a lot of reading and a lot of research about what pain is. And I've learned that pain is an experience that's subjective. Everyone experiences pain differently. And it's in the nervous system of the body and in a sense in the mind. I like to describe mindfulness as simply being awake, being really present to your life as it happens. Just being right here, right now, in your body, aware of your thoughts, aware of your emotions, and then you can make choices how you respond to your experience. I realized that what I did with my mind changed my experience of, of the pain in my body. We can use our minds to unwind that sensitivity. I have pain because my body's damaged and my nervous system experiences pain, and my mind can either make it worse or it can make it better, depending on what I do with my mind. Mindfulness as a treatment, for example, in mindfulness-based pain management, which is the program that I've developed, uh, it, it's really very, very simple. Hard to do, but very simple conceptually. And it is this idea of being really present to your experience. If you've got discomfort in the body, if you've got pain in the body, it's learning to turn towards that experience and to come into a relationship with it. We have lots of methods uh, to train in that. We've got meditation practices, body scanning, breath awareness, learning to work with your thoughts, learning to work with your emotions. And when you come into a relationship with it, you can make choices about what is the appropriate next step. At Breathworks, we've been training people, training other people to deliver our programs for over 10 years. Um, if you decide to do this work, you're going to have the opportunity to then teach other people these beautiful skills of awareness and kindness. And I really see, when I do the teaching, I see the immediate effect it has on people. And I do believe we can change the world in this way. We can change society. So I just finished the first week of the teacher training here at Tauraloka and I really really enjoyed it because the, the teachers are masters in uh, mindfulness because they are great examples themselves of being mindful, being kind. At Breathworks we've got uh, quite a lot of evidence now, both qualitative and quantitative, showing that our program is effective, it improves self-management, the ability for people to manage their own condition, uh, improves the ability to function despite pain. I now, finally, after 38 years, I've learned how to manage my pain well, and I've learned how to create the conditions in my life to support um, what I want to do with my life and to bring my pain with me um, in such a way that it doesn't dominate. There's a very important distinction between pain and suffering. Pain you can live with. Suffering is where you are kind of tormented by the pain. So you can have pain without suffering. And that's very much what we teach in mindfulness training. How to accept the pain and reduce or overcome the suffering dimensions to that pain. <laughs>